My name is May Testa Feliciano. My pronouns are she, her. What first brought me to GFP was wanting to find a sense of community when I first came out as a trans woman. My name is Sanji Feliciano Solomon. My pronouns are she and her. Being at the Gender and Family Project and my mom and my dad coming, it's definitely opened up my world and their world because when I first came out, all of us really knew very little. I was scared, they were worried because as my parents, they only wanted what was best for me. I think coming to the Gender and Family Project for support um, was so valuable because we realized we weren't alone. Being at GFP has given me the words and helped me find my voice uh, to be like completely open and out and vulnerable. When you try to protect your child by hoping it's a it's a phase or, or taking it slow, you really end up bullying your own child from what the things that you don't want the world to do to them. You, you know, when you realize that, you're like, I can't, I can't do that anymore. Prior to coming to the Gender and Family Project, the way I thought about myself was almost entirely negative. After coming here, uh, it's definitely made me very confident in myself. I think what we've gained uh, as a family is our child is happier, our child is part of a community. Finally being able to discover my voice has led me to really be able to advocate for myself and for the community. I look at my child now and I don't, I don't see a gender anymore. I just see a human being who deserves to be happy. And, um, you know, you hope that the world can change more quickly. And if it's not going to, you have to be part of the solution. This whole journey is not just one person. It takes a village. I'm lucky enough that GFP has given me a village. Another set of parents um, had said to us, you don't understand this now, but this is a gift. This whole experience is gonna be a gift. Thank you.